Okay guys, again, we're on the topic of scratching this time of the year. We're in September, October, going into October. And uh, scratch baits is probably your best options of finding nice fish. So what I want to do first today is one of my favorite baits for the Natal coastline and especially in the Zululand side, fishing for all those reef fish and edible fish. It's a chocka langoustine bait. Okay, now very simple. You need some langoustine tails, which we got from Adcan Marine. Some chocka already cut for the previous bait I did. And again, I'm gonna use a bit of foam on this, but not too much, just like that. Trim it nicely to fit the size of the hook. Then a toothpick. That we stick through the hook. You see, I leave my tag on the hook long as well. It also helps with a bit of bait, tying your bait and your foam on. But we'll just trim in front. Okay. Measure it nicely, stick your toothpick in. The cotton, I only use latex cotton when it comes to especially edible baits, but in essence, we use it for everything these days. Don't use any other cotton anymore. Shark baits. I'm using, this is a, a 3.0 Mustad Ring Soy. The line I'm using on this is a Siglan Ferrocarbon, the 0.60. Very nice for, for scratching type fishing. All right. Now I just want to build my little chocker body. Putting the little slits. This is a very, it's one of the bigger chockers I'm using, so it's a nice and thick chocker. I'm gonna use my hammer to just thin it out a bit. Not too much, because I want a nice little firm body around the foam. a little incision there for the toothpick to hold it stick the toothpick through that little incision and that's your body bait now the reason I do that and I don't beat it much this is more for shape forming and if there's a lot of little peckers around they don't get this piece off as easily so you still got a chance of a bigger fish because you've got prawn or sardine or anything around a body bait like this the peckers get stuck into that the flavor is in the water a bigger fish comes closer and only this is left good chance he's going to grab it in front of all those small fish and bully them out of the way and grab this so this i think many a times produce a good fish there's still a piece of bait left after the pickers have, have got stuck into it and that's why you build the little body bait all right now important with all prawns what we do is for more flavor you take it out of the shell little lango bait then I'm gonna open it up halfway down just to get that flavor out nicely I'm stick this on the back of this Now, popanos, kingies, all your reef fish, your rock cards, um, lemon fish, speckled snapper. Oh, there's a range of species that will not swim past this bait either. Tie that on. Then I've got this little piece I saved up, the chocker. And I want to use that. 
again we're layering flavor and getting those peckers a bit of a run for their money mush it up nicely so it will fold over right size fold it over that chocker oh, over the prawn so they can't get the prawn out as quick as possible tie that up now already this is a nice little bait you can throw it just like this but for the purpose of further demonstration I'm now going to add so that the prawn flavor gets into the water much quicker I add another prawn on the back and that the pickers can hit at as much as they want that will just help us get the flavor in the water quicker which will entice a bite quicker call on those bigger fish in the area they'll pick up the smell open it up nicely just like that Stick it on the back here. You can do it on the side or the back as long as your hook stays proud. And then secure it with a cotton, shape it with your hand. You don't have to put too much cotton on this, especially if you're fishing in foamy water close to reefs. You're going to fish open water onto your bank then you can worry a bit more about having it as neat as possible where there's less pickers now guys very effective little scratch baits i made here for part of anything will eat that For a prawn bait, you'll do exactly the same, but with prawn, I just do the chocker body and prawn on top, so it's smaller. Um, that's a chocker prawn bait. Um, you obviously can fish the langoustine on its own, you can fish the prawn on its own, all of that very effective in between the rocks and the reef. Thanks, guys. Now, I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow what the trace looks like for this, the scratching trace, which I'm gonna put together, and then I'm gonna have a throw with it. So, catch us tomorrow to see what happens.